Norm Norlander here. I'd like to tie for you my version of a damselfly nymph. If you're a stillwater fisherman, this is a very important part of your arsenal. Now typically this fly would be tied on a, anywhere from a size 10 to a 14 hook. Fly has a lot of action. You can see it's got a fluffy tail, a lot of wiggle to it. Okay, let's start with the hook itself. This is a standard issue wet fly hook, even though uh, uh, we fish these things as a wet fly, we really don't want to put too much weight on them. So the hook itself is going to be it. We'll start out by dressing the hook. The thread I'm using is a 8 aught olive thread. We'll start go all the way down and back again like that. Now for the tail section, we're going to use what's called blood marabou. That's what this is. It's the fluffy part of the marabou. Okay. So I've taken a little pinch of that marabou, about like so. And we're going to tie it in up here, like we would normally do it, about halfway up the hook. And then just spiral back, almost to where the barb of the hook would be. Okay. Now guys, don't cut it off with your scissors. What you want to do is hold this, thumbnail it, and break it off like that. That'll blow up the ends of those marabou fibers. It gives you a lot better action and it doesn't look like a paintbrush. Okay, now the body itself, we're going to just use a little dubbing. The dubbing I'd like to use for this is a mixture of rabbit fur with a little antron mixed in. It gives it a bit of a sparkle. So we'll take a little bit of dubbing like this out of the bag. Okay, doesn't take too much here. And we'll spin it onto a working thread. Like that. Yeah, you got a little bit of a lump there. Okay, tighten that up just a bit. We'll go back to the tie-in point right there. Come forward just a bit. That's about right. Okay, a little loose stuff there. Next, we're going to lay in the uh, cover for the thorax. Uh, I use this uh, Swiss straw. It's really kind of neat stuff. It's uh, kind of translucent. Uh, take a little piece of that that's oh, about as wide as the gape of the hook would be. Right here. Okay. Now we'll tie this in right here at the end of the body. About like so. Okay. And I clip off the end. One of the distinguishing features of these little bugs is that they have a rather highly developed eye system called compound eyes and that's what we have right here this is actually a piece of monofilament you hold it between your tweezers or hemostat you burn the ends and you end up with what's like a miniature dumbbell eye you see this a little better once I get them on the hook here hard to hold little rascals there we got it now at this point we can move them around a bit there we go Got it. Okay, that's uh, kind of a distinguishing characteristic of some of these insects. Okay, now we come back a bit. Now we're going to build a thorax, as it were. First thing to do is start with a half hitch that locks everything down tight. And again, the thorax, we're just going to use a, a little bit more of this uh, rabbit hair antron mixture. Doesn't take a whole lot. Like this. And we'll spin that onto our working thread. Okay, there we go. There we got a nice little bit of dubbing. Tighten it just a touch. Okay. Ah, oh, looking good, guys. Figure eight that through the eyes. And then we can pull the wing case right up there between the eyes like so. See how those little eyes stick out there? Pretty neat. Okay. Slide that down and clip it off. And we'll come back with a whip finish. You got to enhance the buggy look of this thing. Get your little trusty wire brush out like this. And we're going to 
pick out the dubbing with that. Again, that gives us a little bit more action and motion. And there you go, guys. Kind of a neat looking little bug, isn't it? <laughs>